Welcome to today's video. Many pastors worldwide are serving humanity by providing spiritual guidance to people belonging to the community. Some of them have become very rich through their churches and other investments. Thus, the business of religion for some can be a very profitable profession to venture into. It might be argued that the reason why ministers are more likely to make money today is because they utilize more money-making opportunities such as writing books, producing movies and other media. Some make enough to have private planes, refurbished arenas as churches and flourishing press houses. Nowadays, millions of souls, desperate for financial breakthroughs, miracles and healing, all rush to the church for redemption. And while the Bible expressly states that salvation is free, at times it comes with a cost, offerings, tithes, gifts to spiritual leaders, and a directive to buy literature and other products created by men of God. Pastors are no longer solely interested in getting people to heaven, they've devised intelligent ways to make good money while reaching out to souls. Most of the richest pastors in Africa are Nigerians. Many Nigerian pastors are building multi-million dollar empires from their churches. Today, pastors fly around in private jets, drive fancy cars like Daimlers, Porsches and BMWs, don Rolexes and Patek Phillips, and own breathtaking mansions all over the world. This video shares the net worth of the richest pastors in Nigeria in no particular order. Subscribe to this channel for this and more. Bishop David Oye Depot of Living Faith World Outreach Ministry, aka Winners Chapel net worth is estimated at $150 million. David Oye Depot is Nigeria's wealthiest preacher. Ever since he founded the Living Faith World Outreach Ministry in 1981, it has grown to become one of Africa's largest congregations. The Faith Tabernacle, where he hosts three services every Sunday, is Africa's largest worship center, with a seating capacity of 50,000. Whereas the Winner's Chapel can be found in 32 African countries as well as in United Kingdom, United States of America and Dubai, Faith Tabernacle was named the world's largest church auditorium by the Guinness Book of World Records. A husband and father of four, Oye Depo is affectionately called Papa by the members of his church congregation and has been often referred to as one of the most influential preachers in Nigeria. Chris Oye Lem of Believers Love World Ministries, aka Christ Embassy Net Worth is estimated at $50 million. Popularly known as the Pastor Chris, Chris Oye Lem is the founder and founding president of Believers Love World Incorporated, aka Christ Embassy a Bible-based Christian ministry with headquarters in Lagos, Nigeria. The church boasts more than 40,000 members, several of whom are successful business executives and politicians. Oyaki Lem's diversified interests include newspapers, magazines, a local television station, a record label, satellite TV, hotels and extensive real estate. The ministry has a handful of arms including the Healing School. Rhapsody of Realities and an NGO called the Inner City Missions along with some three Christian television channels, Love World TV, Love World SAT and Love World Plus. His Love World TV network is the first Christian network to broadcast from Africa to the rest of the world on a 24-hour basis. One of the most influential preachers in Africa, Chris started to hone his orator skill ever since his secondary and tertiary school days. Blessed with a natural charisma, he eventually managed to gather more than 2.5 million people in a single night's event through Chris television programs that feature his faith healings, miracles and large meetings. Temetip Joshua of Synagogue Church of All Nations, Scoen, net worth is estimated at $10 million. He is Nigeria's most controversial clergyman but also one of the richest and the most philanthropic. T.B. Joshua heads the Synagogue Church of All Nations, SCOAN, a congregation he founded in 1987, which accommodates over 15,000 worshippers on Sundays. The pastor has remained controversial for several years for his mysterious powers to heal all sorts of incurable diseases, including HIV-AIDS, cancer and paralysis. For miracle-craving worshippers, it's the perfect seduction. The church currently has branches in Ghana, the United Kingdom, 
South Africa, and Greece. He has given over $20 million to causes in education, healthcare and rehabilitation programs for former Niger Delta militants. He owns Emmanuel TV, a Christian television network available both on satellite and on the internet via the streaming faith broadcast portal. Matthew Ashimolowo of Kingsway International Christian Center net worth is estimated at $6 million. In 1992, Four Square Gospel Church, a Nigerian church, sent Ashimolowo to open a satellite branch in London but he set up his own church instead. Today, his Kingsway International Christian Center is reportedly the largest Pentecostal church in the United Kingdom. His wealth majorly comes from varied business interests including his media company, Matthew Ashimolowo Media, which churns out Christian literature and documentaries. Furthermore, Matthew has his own radio program, Winning Ways, which is aired daily on Premier Radio, London, and Spirit FM, Amsterdam, and on television in Ghana, Nigeria, Zimbabwe, TV Africa, the Trinity Broadcasting Network as well as in Europe on the God Channel and Inspirational Network. Chris Okoti of Household of God Church net worth is estimated at $3 million. Pastor Okoti made his first success as a popular pop musician in the 80s. He found the light, embraced the Bible, and set up the Household of God Church, one of Nigeria's most flamboyant congregations. His 5,000-member church consists predominantly of Nollywood celebrities, musicians, and society people. Thank you for watching.